This is the Australian National University Library. This video was recorded on Ngunnawal land. We acknowledge and celebrate the first Australians on whose traditional lands we work and pay our respect to elders past and present. And in this video, we're going to look at how to use a DMP tool to create a data management plan. First, log in to the DMP tool at dmptool.org using your ANU credentials. If you need more information about data management plans or the DMP tool login, see our video on creating a research data management plan at ANU. In the Project Details tab, fill in your project title and project abstract, select your research domain, type in your project start and end date, type in the funder information if applicable, and click Save. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can select Guidance. Guidance will provide tips to assist you in completing each section of the data management plan. In the Collaborators tab, add the details of any project collaborators if necessary. In the Write Plan tab, click on the plus to expand each section. There are seven sections under this tab. Expand each section and answer the questions. Remember, Click on Save after each question. What data will you collect or create? Are they video or audio files, survey data, personal or health data, or existing data or third-party sources? Also, think about how will the data be created or collected? Here are some common examples of data collection methods. Focus groups, one-on-one -on -one interviews, surveys, or tracking social media. Next, think about what documentation and metadata will accompany the data. How you structure and name your folders for consistency and clarity. Describe here how you will establish file naming conventions. Remember, always name files in a consistent manner. Some tips on file naming conventions include using a version number, using underscores instead of spaces or slashes, and using a full date format such as year, month, day. Pro tip, it is recommended that you include a readme.txt file. This will describe the data collected, including instructions, additional help, or details about updates. File names are best if they are short but descriptive. In this section, you can also add definitions of variables, vocabularies, units of measurement, and so forth. Think about how you will manage any ethical issues. Have you gained consent for data preservation and sharing? Click on ANU and you will be directed to ANU guidance on ethics and integrity. More information on ethics can be found on the ANU webpage that provides policies and procedures on ethics and integrity. How will you manage copyright and intellectual property rights issues? You will need to provide answers to the following questions. Who owns the data? How will the data be licensed for reuse? Will you place any restrictions on the reuse of third-party data? ANU copyright information for students, higher degree research students, or researchers can be found online. How will the data be stored and backed up during the research? It is recommended to store digital data on ANU servers and systems. ANU researchers can access the following storage services. OneDrive, ANU eNotebooks, and the National Computational Infrastructure, which is used for very large data sets in the terabyte size range. Think about how you will manage access and security. If your data is confidential, such as personal data not already in the public domain, private information, or trade secrets, 
you should outline the appropriate security measures that have been taken to protect the data. Details about ANU Information Security can be found online when you search Information Security at ANU. Which data are of long-term value and should be retained, shared, and or preserved? Ask yourself, what is your long-term preservation plan for the data? In which repository or archive will the data be deposited? Generally, the minimum period of retention is five years from the date of publication. For most clinical trials, retaining research data for 15 years or more is necessary. It is recommended that you select an ANU Managed Data Repository for long-term preservation, for example, the Australian Data Archive or the ANU Data Commons. How will you share the data? Consider detailed questions on data sharing, such as how will potential users find out about your data? Will you get a persistent identifier for your data? Under what conditions will you share the data? Did you know that the ANU Data Commons can create a Digital Object Identifier, or DOI, for your datasets? This is a permanent digital address for your information or data and ensures that your data can be cited consistently. This is when you need to consider if any restrictions on data sharing may be required. Restrictions can be for a number of reasons, for example, confidentiality, lack of consent agreements, or intellectual property rights. Always outline any expected or potential difficulties in sharing data with acknowledged long-term value, along with causes and possible measures to overcome these difficulties. Ask yourself, who is responsible for implementing the DMP and ensuring it is revised and reviewed. What resources will you use to deliver your plan? Do you require hardware or software which is additional or exceptional to what is already provided by your institution or faculty? If yes, add the details here. The Research Output tab lists your anticipated research output. The Download tab allows you to select the docx format so you will be able to download it into Word for further editing. In the Finalize and Publish tab, provided you have answered at least 50% of the questions, you can publish your plan privately for ANU users only or publicly. You can also register your plan for a DMP ID which will allow you to link your DMP to your ORCID record. Examples are available after you log in to the DMP tool at the bottom of the home page. We recommend downloading the PDF to guide you through the process. Examples of data management plans specific to a research domain can be found at the Australian Research Data Commons. For additional information, you can go to the Australian Research Data Commons ANU Research Data Management LibGuide and Training Manual or email us at repository.admin at anu.edu.au Remember, if in doubt, it is always best to check with your lecturer or supervisor. Looking for more resources on researching, writing and using the library? We have an amazing collection of online materials and guides available through the ANU Library website as well as workshops and videos. Having trouble? The ANU Library is here to help. If in doubt, reach out to our friendly staff at the desk or on chat.